Welcome back guys. So, so far we have uh, taken our motion program, our, our PyCam program, and converted it to Python 3 in our previous video, and now we're going to use that and call on that as if it were a module um, and import it into a new Python script that we're going to create. So, on your Raspberry Pi, we're going to open up that P3 PyCam file that we created, or whatever it is that you called it. Now, since we don't want to be taking a picture with this program, we just want to return whether or not there is motion detected, we're gonna to have to do a few things. Ultimately, this here, this if, ticture, if take picture, is the statement that determines whether or not we actually take a picture. So I'm just gonna comment that out, and instead I'm going to say return true. And then, of course, if we don't have that as true. If that's false, if it, if it fails to detect um, motion, we're going to say else return false because we, we want it to change between true and false. So scrolling up a bit, we're going to get to this line here. Let's go forward a little bit. All right, so get first image. And this is going to be the point where we define everything below this as a function that we can call. So I'm going to call it a function called motion and that's it now of course we're gonna have to indent everything else so let's just highlight everything below all the way to the end and we are going to form that that by indenting the region there we go so now we are correct in the way that we set this up so we have defined a, a function here called motion and if we import this p3 pycam file uh, into another python script we can call on that motion and it's going to return true or false so okay great so we've saved that let's create a new window and this one is going to be our main so i'm going to save this file in our cookie directory and it's going to be called cookie main not just main because that'd be too simple right okay so in this, we are now going to import the what we are now calling a module, Pi uh, P3 PyCam. We're going to import P3 PyCam, and in it, we're going to set up a uh, while true loop, which is just going to continually iterate over the same thing over and over and over. Um, but before we do that, let's let's create a state, and this is the or let let's call it motion state. So it's a little less ambiguous. So motion state is false. That is, we are not detecting motion right now. And then we're going to say motion state is equal to the result of p3 pycam dot, what did we call it, motion. So now we're, we're calling on the module for motion. And then we're going to just print motion state. So now we can just simply detect whether or not we are seeing motion. So let's give that a save and give it a run. There you go. See? False. Perfect. It's not detecting any motion. And if I stick my hand in front of it, there we go. We're seeing true. We're seeing true. It's not actually taking pictures, though. It's just returning true, and then it's going to return false again. So there we have it. So now it's cycling, and it's detecting whether or not it sees anything. So cool. That's that. Now, if we actually want to take a picture, let, let's let's extrapolate this a bit. If we want to take a picture, I'm just going to break this here. If we want to take a picture, we're going to do more than just print motion state. So we're going to say, if motion state, what we're going to do is we're going to say, with pi camera, the odd pi camera as camera camera dot resolution is equal to to 1280 by 720 and then we're gonna say camera dot capture and I know it's gonna write over the same image over and over but we could just say camera dot capture uh, motion image dot JPEG just something quick you know we'll, we'll get back to this in another video make something that's a little bit better and then we're going to exit out of that print picture taken and 
we're gonna say print smile for the camera and then we're gonna save that and we're gonna give that a run so it's not detecting any motion put my hand out in front oh man true smile for the camera uh oh of course uh, if we're gonna use pie, pie camera we need to import pie camera right I'm sure you caught that while watching me type this out so it's false handout should say true should take a picture takes a little bit of time because this isn't a very fast computer picture taken perfect and then it's detecting that my hand isn't there so it takes another picture picture taken and then it should go back to false right so there we see it going back to false now you can see the rate at which this is happening and it's amazingly slow and part of the reason why it's amazingly slow is because the Raspberry Pi is not a particularly fast computer and we're running this in idle showing us the display a faster way to run this if we wanted to I'm just gonna break the code here um, let's review the image make sure that the image looks kinda nice motion image there we go see my hand is now gone a faster way to execute this is if you do it straight from the terminal so if we go to our cookie directory where we have our lots of stuff and we were to use cookie main so you want to say python3 cookie main dot pi you'll see that it's actually a little bit faster especially if we shut down the VNC connection so don't worry guys when this is like up and running it's a little bit faster you can take a picture so you hand in front small for the camera picture taken done you know it's it's about the same but if we were to if we were to close down the VNC server close down the graphics display we free up more resources for it to actually take pictures and process them so there we have it very simple program where we're actually using motion detection in a program that we can control and in the next video, I'm going to show you, um, like I'm going to take this a step further where we actually take the pictures that we want with timestamping using that motion module. And I'll see you in that video.